I found three hidden tools inside of Fusion, and now I use them all the time. I'm going to show you how to find them. All right, here we are in Fusion. I just have a text note here that it's going to be our guinea pig for all the effects. So normally, if you want to find a tool in Fusion, you hit Shift Space, and that'll bring up a list of tools here. But the tools we're looking for aren't in this at all. That's why they're hidden tools. To find them, you go to the Effects Library under Templates, Tools. So now you see there are three tools here, and they're all pretty useful. I use them a lot. First up, Advanced Camera Shake. We have a very nice looking shake. And there are a bunch of different parameters you can mess with. Try messing with the shake smoothness, modulation smoothness, randomness. Play with all of these to get the camera shake you want. I use this, uh, this is my go-to camera shake inside of Fusion. So you may be wondering what's the difference between this camera shake and the regular camera shake node. There's not a lot of difference, I just like this one better because it looks more natural to me, and also, just a little fun thing, it has motion blur turned on by default. So this whole tab is dedicated to motion blur, so if you find a frame like right here, see these edges are blurred in the direction, that's just a nice thing. Next, chromatic aberration. If we take a look at this, see it especially on the edges here, we have this nice chromatic separation of the RGB. So there aren't a whole lot of controls, you can control how much the aberration there is, bring it the other way, and it'll go different colors, that's kind of cool. I don't know if this happens for anyone else, but with a lot of effects for me, I get this line down the middle if it's on the default position, like I have to move it a little bit. Please let me know in the comments if this happens to you, I'd be really interested in knowing why that is. Now there is a little trick with this tool that you should know. So if I try to add an effect after this, let's just say a blur, you'll notice that we lost some of our colors in that. And I'm not sure why this is, but there's a way to fix it. So there, you see there are two outputs on this one. Most nodes have one, this one has two. And right now it's coming out of main output one. So if we can drag that out and put it in main output two, now we have all our colors and we can add effects after this. I have no idea why this is, but it, it is and it works. And last but not least, edge control. This one is a very fun one. If I add that, you can see it made an outline based on our thing. And there are a bunch of fun controls. You can mess with this graph. I'm too scared to touch it most of the time. Um, you can pre-blur it and post-blur it, just different kinds of blur. Play with the gain, gamma, contrast, a lot of fun controls. If you want a quick example of a practical use of this, just add a brightness contrast node, bring the text plus into the mask of that, and multiply by mask. Look at that, you've got a light wrap mask. Very fun, nifty effect. If you want a nice clean outline, you can just change the pre-blur size to one. One thing to know with this effect is you have to have an alpha channel going into it. So if you look at our text, if we just hit A, that'll show us the alpha channel. So everything that's black is transparent and everything that's white is not transparent. So if I just find a completely random piece of footage, oh, how'd that get there? And add the edge control to it, nothing will happen because this doesn't have an alpha channel. If I hit A, there's nothing. So what you use it for has to have an alpha channel. And those are Fusion's three hidden tools. I have no idea why they're hidden, but they are, and now you know how to find them. If you want to know a fun way to use one of these effects, I have an upcoming tutorial that I'm very excited about. After it comes out, I'll link it here. If it hasn't come out by the time you see this video, you'll just see some other random video that I'm sure is a good video, because I put work into my videos.